Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. If you are brand new to my channel, yay, you found me. Finally, I've been waiting for you. And if you're a returning subscriber, yay, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Remember that anytime you like, subscribe, or even comment down below, it spreads magical YouTube fairy dust all over my channel, which makes it easier for other people to find it, which is what I want. I want to save you time and money from watching bad movies and help you find the really great movies. And today is a really good one, not great. I was hoping it would be, but a good movie. The name of the film I'm reviewing is called The Boys in the Boat. Now, this underdog sports film is playing in select theaters, as well as on Amazon Prime, Apple TV, and Vudu. It came out on Christmas Day. I know I am really far behind on reviewing movies, and so I'm trying to catch up, and I was really excited to see this one, and then we had family in town for Christmas, and then soon as New Year's hit, the beginning of January, I went out of town for a conference, and then I got sick, and so I'm finally catching up. Anyway, the movie is rated PG-13 and is two hours and four minutes long. My overall movie review mom grade is an A-. minus. Like I said, I thought it was really good, just not as epic as I had hoped. And this story deserves to have an epic telling in film. So let me first give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out the things I liked, things I didn't like, tips for parents, themes worth talking about, interesting lines, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that you might also really like or even might like better than this one. All right, so let's dive in. Yes, there will be water puns included. In a nutshell, my husband read the 2013 best-selling book, by the same name, by Daniel James Brown. He read it long ago, well, basically when the book came out, 10, 11 years ago now, and he absolutely loved it. And so for years, he kept asking, when are they going to turn this into a movie? So the time has finally come. George Clooney directed and produced this inspirational film based on an incredible true story. Clooney was quoted as saying, quote, it was really important to us that the rowing community actually had a film that captured the thrill of what that is and the speed. So Amazon purchased MGM in 2022, later creating the name Amazon MGM Studios. So I'm expecting great things from this merger. So this is one of the films produced by Amazon MGM Studios. So here's a list of things that I really liked about this movie. First of all, the cast is solid and features an actor, and I'm never quite sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Joel Edgerton, although I've also heard Ed Gerton, but he's fantastic. Callum Turner is just the golden boy. Jack Mulhern, Courtney Hangler, hopefully I pronounced that name correctly, Chris Diamantopoulos, Hadley Robison, Sam Strike, and Luke Slattery. Now, the young men who played the athletes in the movie had a goal of, a, of getting to 46 strokes a minute while they were filming, and they actually achieved their goal after training for every day for five months, which is unbelievable considering none of them had any rowing experience at all before making this film. I loved the old fashioned nature of this period piece when people worked hard and had grit to accomplish a goal. The races are pretty doggone exciting. The moment when the rowers met Jesse Owens, I thought was really touching when they commented that he was going to show those Nazis how talented he was. He simply and humbly said, no. I'm going to go show them back home because, of course, we remember this was still pulling out of the civil rights era. And, you know, a black guy in the Olympics was a big deal coming from America. And he was a big deal. Anyway, I just love that they added that little uh, reference to history so that we could appreciate uh, some of the nuances of what was going on. Impressive cinematography in this movie by Martin Rue. 
Now, when I saw Hitler in the stands in several of the scenes, I just wanted to smack him. <laughs> I don't smack people, but you know, you're just like, that was Hitler. The movie does a really great job of illustrating that it takes mental strength to not just physical strength to excel at athletic tasks. Nice costume design by Jenny Egan. Uh, it really takes you back in time and to that time period. And it, it is such a stark contrast, I think, to what society and our American culture is now, sadly. Keep watching during the rolling credits at the end to see some old photos of the famous rowers in real life. I always love that when we get to see these. What I would have liked to have seen is the actor right next to the real person. Just to compare, see how good their casting was uh, and just, just to see, you know, did they look alike? Now, for what it's worth, one of my grandson's name is Crew. True story. <laughs> So maybe he'll be a rower when he grows up. Now, can you believe, first of all, that I have a grandson, right? He, I mean, he's just one year old. So anyway, there are some things that I didn't like or just thought could have been done better or differently in this film. For example, the movie slows its pace in several sections, pun intended. It's a pace. Now, in the movie, what's fascinating is we see the team is almost instantly behind and then all of a sudden they pick up the pace out of nowhere and they do that several times, which is just amazing. You would think that momentum would just put them farther and farther behind, but they just dig deep and pull it out. Not to give you spoilers, we see several races. The musical score by Alexander Desplat was lovely, but I think it could have used some sweeping moments that built more tension because we already know the end of the story, the suspense was missing. Now, again, the musical score was lovely, but I wanted to not know, even though I knew, but, you know, I wanted the movie, the music to just sort of wrap around me and have me wonder or just get, you know, really excited, but to feel that suspense and tension. Ultimately, the movie is extremely paint by the numbers and predictable. Again, we already know the ending. Film critics have rated this film harshly, I think, at a low 56% on Rotten Tomatoes, while fans have awarded it a very high 96%. So what did you think about this movie? Comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And then all in all, the movie is nice. Not as great, as I mentioned, that I would like it to be. But um, as is the case for films like this, the book is always better than the movie. My husband read the book and saw the movie, and he prefers the book. And that's not a big surprise. But it's such a great story, and it's great to get it out there on the big screen. And maybe, you know, in another 10, 20 years, it'll be redone. I don't know. Now, let me give you some tips for parents. I think young kids are going to be bored, but I think teenagers will like it unless young kids are, you know, really into rowing and crew and that kind of stuff. There is some bullying that's portrayed and some light profanity, but overall it is pretty family friendly if you have kids that would be interested in the topic. Now, speaking of the topic, some of the themes that are illustrated very well in the story in the movie are teamwork, hard work, fighting hard versus quitting, old money versus no money at all, the working class, the Great Depression, overcoming adversity, effective coaching, and hope. So I always write down funny lines and interesting lines just so I can share them with you so you get a taste of the dialogue and the script writing quality. And so you can see all of them on my written review at moviereviewmom.com, but I'll share some of them with you right now. All right, so one of the funny lines is spoken by a character named Hazel, played by Courtney Hangler. Again, I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, Courtney, so sorry. Uh, but anyway, she says to another character, I do love your smile. You should do it more often. <laughs> uh, and there are some characters that are very straight laced and very serious and then more playful ones. And so there is some humor. It's definitely not a comedy, but there are some nice fun moments. Uh, then for some interesting lines, Peter Guinness plays a character named George and George says, 
rowing is more poetry than stroke. And you definitely get that sense of rhythm as a team really working together rather than all of these guys randomly rowing in a boat that they got to be in sync. And I loved that element of the story and teaching the importance of being in sync, working as a team and all of that. Another line that this character, George, played by Peter Guinness, says is sometimes young horses need a louder jockey. And we definitely see that take place in the story where a team is really struggling and they get the right jockey. I get, I don't even know if that's what they're called, but you know, the one who is calling it out and trying to keep the rhythm going. And it made all of the difference. And then the last line I'll share with you is spoken by Callum Turner's character. And I just thought that he was so perfect in his role. And he said, the boat, it's all I got. The boys, it's all I got. And that's what kept him going on the times where he wanted to quit. He wanted to be a part of this team and the spirit of brotherhood. All right. So now with that, hopefully you'll find my reviews to be helpful in deciding whether or not you want to watch a particular film. But let me give you recommendations for three films I instantly thought of. The first one is Chariots of Fire. Now, it is an epic movie, sweeping, award winning movie, music, actors, so great. And also is an earlier time period during the Olympics and qualifying. And it's just so inspirational. I remember seeing it as a young girl and being so impressed by it as a young girl. So definitely check that out, especially if you're younger and you have never even heard of that movie. I think you're really going to love it. And then a fun one, very different in tone, is Cool Runnings also based on a true story. Actually, Chariots of Fire is also based on a true story. But Cool Runnings is a Jamaican bobsled team, and it is filled with comedy and lightness and fun and inspiration. And then the last one that I wanted to tell you about is one called Eddie the Eagle, also based on a true story. Fantastic actors, great story, lots of humor, lots of inspiration. All right, so hopefully you'll get to watch all of those and enjoy all of them and let your friends know, come on over here and join us at Movie Review Mom. I really appreciate your support. Have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.